So Grace Episcopal Church started as a plant from Trinity to the suburbs to be a Sunday school option for those who lived a bit farther away from the center of the city. And so the history of Grace, it began as a place for whoever you are that you're welcome here. And it's very much that's been part of its history and it's part of its future and its vision that um, we're a church for the whole community. And so as we interact as a parish, it's not about what happens inside here or even on our property, but how we can be part of the life of the community. We do a lot of partnering with St. Vincent's House, of course, but also with the Ada House, the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Women's Center. It's actually in Texas City. Um, on Grace's premise, we have the oldest thrift store on the island, which is a silk purse, and it, um, all of the proceeds from the silk purse go towards outreach. I think one of the most exciting things for us as a parish uh, this last summer in July is we decided that we were going to have a mission trip, but we wanted that mission trip to be about building relationships here on the island. And so we went a couple blocks away to um, the home of Ms. Marie Pines, who is a neighbor of ours, who um, for different reasons, her home was overlooked in some construction post uh, the hurricane. And so we went in there and we, and we did a lot of different construction work and painting and landscaping. But I think the most beautiful thing about it is um, for Grace and all of its diversity, we had over 16 folks from the church there on site um, working and doing that ministry. And that was beautiful because for us, that's two thirds of our Sunday congregation showed up on mission. Um, and now, you know, we've got a relationship with a family who waves at us in a grocery store. Uh, and that's really kind of the vision of where Grace is going in the future, to be more and more active in our community, in our parish, doing the work of the kingdom. For Grace, Hurricane Ike hit very hard. We had over $900,000 worth of damage just here on the property. But what was beautiful is that even though so many people in our congregation had lost their homes or significantly damaged their homes, they were part of the rebuilding efforts here. If not just cooking for the teams who came, but actually participating um, in that rebuilding. And we look at it that while the official rebuilding is done, um, it's ongoing in our community. And so we want to continue in that. For us in particular, there's a sign, an outward and visible sign for it. Uh, we lost one of our trees near the silk purse, and that tree is part of the different carvings around the, um, around the Galveston Island, and it was turned into an angel. And for us, that angel, that angelos, that messenger, the message it sends is that out of a death comes new life. And so for us, um, post Ike, it's an Easter moment. If you look at the floors of our church, it's this beautiful original wood floor, but that was hidden for years under carpet. And nobody knew it even existed. And it took floodwaters to uncover what was the beautiful thing underneath. And so for us, every Sunday, when you hear people walking in the church building, you hear Easter. And that's the message that Grace is in part of the recovery, is that it's an ongoing transformation for the island and it's an ongoing, um, it's Easter here. Mm -hmm.